we've got some huge news when it comes to Little People Big World. And we're not even gonna drag it out here for dramatic effect. TLC has announced the return date of this beloved reality show. A new season of adorable, intriguing and emotional episodes will kick off on Tuesday, May 11th at 9 C. That's not even a month away. And that's not the only announcement made late Wednesday by TLC executives. The network also teased various storylines to come, beginning with the seemingly perpetual state of uncertainty surrounding Roloff Farms. As you likely know, if you're listening to this right now, Amy Roloff sold the majority of her stake in the property to her late husband last year, while she also moved off the farm in November. Will Zuck take over running the business? What about Jeremy? Could he swoop back into the picture? Amy will also be busy wedding planning. Zuck and wife Tori will have their hands literally full while raising two young kids, and Matt will continue dating Karen Chandler. Let's not forget these episodes were filmed months ago, while the COVID-19 pandemic was still raging across most of the nation. Here is a look at the official TLC synopsis. Like the rest of America, the Roloffs are still hunkered down in the midst of the pandemic. As Matt reimagines how to run the family business, Zuck contemplates co-owning and running the farm with his dad. Is he ready to handle all that would come with living and working with his father? Meanwhile, after packing up 30 years of memories and moving out of the farmhouse for good, Amy and her fiancé Chris start planning their upcoming wedding. But what happens when they realize they don't share the same vision for their big day? In Zuck and Tori see firsthand the little victories and big challenges that go along with raising two children. Just a month ago, meanwhile, Tori opened up about a recent miscarriage, which we're guessing took place after filming on this new season concluded. I've honestly never felt lost like I did in that moment, Roloff wrote at the time, pouring her heart out as fellows. I've never felt so sad, angry and scared in a single moment. I had no symptoms of losing our sweet angel baby and nothing could have prepared me for hearing our sweet baby was gone. Concluded Roloff. If there is any silver lining here, it's the realization of how truly blessed we are. We have two happy, healthy, thriving kids, and I know that's not afforded to everyone. We have two kids who we have to snuggle and love on every day. Parents should never know the heartbreak of losing a child. I pray that we can all find peace that our babies are waiting for us in heaven and we will meet one day. Tori then cited others who can sadly relate to this sort of loss, writing. I post this in hopes that it will touch just one mama and let them know you're not alone. I also post this selfishly as a form of healing for myself. I felt as though I needed to acknowledge our sweet angel baby so I could go on sharing my babies here with me. So that's what I'll continue to do, thanking the Lord for what I have, thanking the Lord for my two healthy kids and my husband who has loved me through it all. That's it for now, thank you for watching. Please subscribe to stay tuned.